Okay, folks, we got some breaking news. We've got Russia issuing digital gold. We've got individuals here in the States unable to get cash out of credit card machines. We've got major airlines down and Brazil turning to stable coins. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Molt Money. Hope you all are having a fantastic day, having a rough day myself. As uh, many of you know, I'm stuck here in the Midwest. I did have a rebooked flight through Southwest on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. Don't trust it at all. So last night, I went ahead and booked a rent-a-car through Enterprise. Found out this morning about 10 minutes uh, prior to getting to the Enterprise that they are all 100% booked and I am unable to get a car to drive back to the West Coast. I was going to drive 36 hours from Indiana to San Diego, where I'm located. Obviously, break that up in between, right? But my wife and my infant, the three of us, were going to make that drive. Now, because of those bookings, because of the fact that I'm unable to get a car, I was able to find some tickets through American Airlines. $2,600 for the two of us to go one way from, we're going to go from Indy to Philly and then to San Diego, $2,600. So when the Department of Transportation looks into this whole situation, I hope they also look into price gouging because that is 100% what is happening as well as Southwest. I don't really anticipate getting any money from them. Folks, we're talking about thousands and thousands of people affected here in the United States, obviously myself included. We're talking about thousands of thousands of dollars that uh, people individually are going to have to shell out depending on what kind of form of transportation they're going to take. I was even looking at taking the Amtrak, but that's unfortunately not a um, option for me as well. I was going to take the train all the way to the West Coast. That aside... What is happening? Just last week, we found that here in the U.S., there was a blackout, essentially, from what I was told, from reports I heard, in which individuals were unable to pull money out of credit card machines. I want to give you a quick story. My mother, she has came out and visited me on the West Coast a few different times. There has been a few different times of those times she's visited me that she has been able to use her debit card and credit card in San Diego. Why? Well, she has a local branch, a local uh, mom and pop bank here in Indiana. And even though she had let them know ahead of time that, hey, I'm going out of state, I need to be able to use these cards, they still put a block on it. What happens with banks all over this country? They do put blocks on your cards with travel restrictions when you do not inform them ahead of time. What happens with blockchain technology and digital wallets? You do not have those issues. I talked about this the other day when I said, hey, Jim Cramer keeps trying to hit us and call us idiots for being in the cryptocurrency game. But hey, blockchain is open 24 seven. Banks are, banks have a lot of restrictions. If I wanna go to a bank and pull out $10,000 in cash through an ATM, not gonna happen likely. So. There is an economic meltdown happening in, be in front of our eyes. And I really do not like fear mongering. That's not at all what I want to bring to this channel. But I will tell you time and time again, our, our answer for cross-border payments, our answer for networks to build infrastructure of the new financial system, the new digital way of life will be built on XRP and XLM. And that is not financial advice. That is what I believe and am fully convicted on based on my research and findings. Let me know your thoughts, your perspectives, comments in the comment section below. Please do not forget to hit that like button. Definitely helps get our word out there. Always, always don't forget to smash. Don't forget to smash that like button and uh, subscribe if you want to join our community. We'll see you in the next one.